What's good, YouTube? This your man, Spill Dog. Man, hopefully Eddie Hearns learned the motherfucking lesson tonight, man. Uh, from now on, when these fights that'll be made, y'all ain't ain't. There's not one fighter out here that got the got got the type of record. Maybe Manny Pacquiao to be putting on fights for two or three years. They ain't. I don't know who the fuck these motherfuckers think they is out here. I don't. I'm glad this shit happened. So now these promoters, since they the ones not letting these motherfuckers get in the ring and fight, gonna start stop waiting on trying to get the most goddamn money they can get and put these motherfuckers in the ring because if you're not fighting good fighters on a regular basis, this shit happens. That's why Andy Ruiz, he just got out the ring. He fresh, just came off a good, solid fight, and that's why he whooped AJ ass up because he's boxing regular. I mean, you know, uh, you're not going to be able to sit on the couch fighting once or twice a year one scrub and one tough fight every year, uh, you're going to start getting your ass kicked. This shit going to start happening to a lot of these dudes, and I can't wait to do, man. I'm tired of this shit, man. Uh, these cats not wanting to fight no more. Now, I don't know if it's them or the fucking people who are in charge of them, but they fucking boxing up with this bullshit. And this this what's going to happen. It's going to be a lot of upsets because these guys are so used to coming in there with this cherry picking shit. Cherry picking didn't work out so well this time. Eddie Hearns probably somewhat sick as a motherfucking dog because uh, Joshua may or may not be to beat him the second time, but now y'all have lost out on a $50 million, $100 million fight fucking around, trying to make it into two, three hundred million, thinking y'all going to maximize this fucking money. You can't maximize shit when these guys ain't fighting good competition regular. They going to get their ass whooped eventually. This what Joshua get talking about. He didn't think Wilder was going to be able to keep winning. His ass didn't keep winning. Sometimes you better watch. That's why I was telling Wild Wild. You got to be careful with the words come out your mouth. Uh, shit come back and haunt you. So now we ain't got to worry. I mean, well, that fight is over now. Now the big fight is Tyson Fury. Uh, Deontay might well fight Dylan White now. Fuck it. The AJ shit, I, I, I had already made up. I had already got to the point where I didn't give a fuck if they fought or not. Now I don't even want to see the shit. I don't even want to see the shit now. He done already don't even want to see the shit now. And Deontay can't tell me he ain't somewhat thinking about this a little bit too because they both have lost out on some big motherfucking money on this shit right here. Ain't nobody else they gonna make a fight where they would have got to pay what they would have got to fight each other. I, you know, uh, it's, I don't know if it's their advisors or who that's, that, that's keeping them from getting in the ring and fighting the fights the fans want to see. But I truly hope this taught their ass lesson on this one right here. But yeah, man, that's it on this video, man. If you like the video, hit the like, subscribe button. Till the next one, it's your boy Spiel. Oh,